Okay, so it's time to start adding the final touches to the map painting. So I'm going to duplicate a version and flatten it. And I'm going to use this for a little bit of reflection, palace reflection in the water. So if I paste it back over top of the map painting, I paste the flat version over top of the map painting, in the area here with all the rest of the lake, water, the shoreline layers. I'm going to give myself a guideline for where the water meets. And then I'm going to flip it, flip the reflect, reflect uh, layer, which is the flattened layer. Uh, flip it vertically. So this is going to give me a mirror version somewhat cheated mir mirrored version, but a mirrored version nonetheless of the palace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mat in little slivers that you usually see on a lake top. Usually the wind will gust uh, and create a little bit of a ripple. And right now I'm just going to vertically blur the reflection layer just a little bit. Just so it's not a perfect mirrored reflection. So what we get here is we get a more natural feeling when we have these little streaks or reflections. Um, I didn't really want to have a, a real solid glass top, like a perfect mirror that you do sometimes see at the lake just because this is an open area there's mountains around and with all these waterfalls there's going to be a a distribution of warm air and cool air and there's going to be a little bit of air turbulence so why not put in a little bit of uh, difference in reflections I think it helps the map painting to look a little more realistic now though I mentioned earlier that I'm going to end up uh, animating these waterfalls I'm not going to end up animating the surface of the water. The turbulence in the water in that photograph is so small that at 50% we're not going to see any water movement at all, especially in a four second shot. The hint of the reflections is good enough. And basically I just wanted to slide the reflection of the palace in into that mat that I painted just enough so that it was noticeable that we are seeing the palace. There's a little bit of brick color in there, a little bit of vertical, a little bit of uh, vertical lines you can see in there. And of course, once you have that matted, you can play around with how soft the mats are. Go in and adjust them numerous times, and every time you paint, every time you add to that mat or subtract. You're, you're not destroying that reflect layer, you're simply just revealing what's there. So if you wanted to add more reflection, you just paint in the mat, and you don't have to worry about where the reflection is coming from because it's all, it's all going to come out of that duplicate of the upside down uh, map painting. Now I'm just going to add uh, another streak of reflections blowing through on the water top here with the selection, then I uh, just brush it in. I'll just move the reflection layers around a little bit. Just try to get them to... before this, before I got to the haze and before I ch put reflections in the waterfall and the trees. I do this periodically every few hours um, and I, just to check my work, make sure I'm going forward and uh, improving the map painting. Let's take a final glance around the whole map painting and that'll about wrap it up.